A little bit more detail for you now on that nickel sulphide discovery that you heard about yesterday. And this has been called a once in a decade find. And it's been found about 70 kilometres north of Perth. It's also been labelled globally rare. Chalice Gold Mines made the discovery at their Julemar site. James Liveris caught up with the company's managing director, Alex Dorsch, who's still trying to come to terms with what they've found. Uh, look, clearly very excited, James, um, for a number of reasons, really. The, the grades, the widths of the intercept, the proximity to Perth, the, the rarity of, of these types of discoveries, is, it's, clearly, it's clearly something pretty special. It's, uh, it's the type of thing that explorationists um, really dream of. Now, you had the tenement for this site in 2018 at, for the Julemar project. Could you sort of talk me through the journey all the way to sort of reading the latest results and really realising what you have? Uh, I guess it was, an, it was an idea originally from one of our young geologists in the team. We backed them, we went and staked it, and then we did a little bit of work through 2019, uh, reconnaissance level work. Uh, as well as some ground-based geophysics, and we identified some pretty attractive targets, uh, to be honest. But knowing, acknowledging how difficult nickel sulphide exploration is, we didn't get too excited um, too early. So we we then got drilling earlier this month, and then we put a drill hole down and we hit a very shallow, high-grade zone, which is really quite exceptional uh, and doesn't happen every day. Obviously, these these types of discoveries, as Alan mentioned, are very rare, so they, they really don't come around very often. They are very special, you know, um, even, even globally, they're very rare to find high-grade nickel sulfides. And, and certainly with the palladium grades we've seen, that that's, makes it even more special. So it's a, it's a very exciting time in, a, uh, in an unfortunate time um, for the rest of the world. I guess the, there's challenges um, definitely uh, going on in the world right now. Um, so we're going to keep... I guess, going with our project and hopefully we can turn it into something quite significant. Yeah, and it's, it's obviously still early days, but what do you think this means for the company? It's one drill hole, so I guess to Alan's point as well, um, one drill hole does not make a mine. One drill hole is indicative of some very valuable mineralisation at depth on, on the project, but yeah, it does not immediately mean that we've, we've got a... Uh, or body, or uh, you know, we haven't discovered a deposit. So we, we're continuing to drill, obviously around where where the first hole's gone, as well as into some other targets nearby. And uh, and should we start to get uh, more or repeat some of the success we've had with that first drill hole, that's when I think the the company will will experience a a real transformation. Obviously, there's no denial that coronavirus is having serious implications for the resource sector at the moment and, and production. You know, moving forward with this Julemar project, what impacts do you think it would have? Right now, it, it is an hour's drive out of out of Perth. Um, it's not something we need to, to fly guys into to get them to site. You know, the, our people on site at the moment are sleeping in their own beds at night, which is quite quite unusual in the exploration space. So from that perspective, logistically, it's quite straightforward. I guess from a, from a broader context, yeah, obviously the virus is having implications all through the economy, um, through capital markets, and, and obviously there's a, you know, there's, a, there's a pretty substantial health risk there as well. So we're, we're taking uh, all the steps, as you would uh, imagine, to mitigate those risks, but it is certainly, um, certainly the, the project's in a favourable location from taking all those into account. Chalice Goldmines Managing Director Alex Dorsch with James Liveris. And in other 